guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am here with the 90 Lacquer Spring Collection. It's a five piece collection and this did release, I want to say, two weeks ago or maybe a week ago. I cannot remember. Jess didn't do pre-order this year, she just went straight into regular orders. So if you've ordered within the US, I'm sure you've already received your bottles. But I'm going to go through the five piece collection and let you know my thoughts. Two of them are like some of my favourite types of polishes. So should we start with those? Let's start with those. White base Crilly. This one is called Sprinkles um, and I think Amanda came up with that name because she loves a good pun. And this is perfect. I have it on my nails today. I love white base Crellies like nothing else. And this is just a a ton of really beautiful like spring pastel colours so you have a baby pink there's an orange there's a pale pink there's a yellow there's a baby blue and then there is small black glitters all scattered into this white crelly base these are one of my favorite types of polishes specifically indie polishes just because i think that indies make crellies so well uh, and like most white base crellies this does take three coats to build up to be completely opaque and then you just see the layers of um layers of polish built up. If you're not sure what a Crelly is, it's in between a cream and a jelly formula. Um, so it does, like I say, it's a little bit thinner, where when you build it, you can see through the layers and you can see the other glitters like buried underneath. It's a really cool effect. And if you haven't tried a Crelly before, definitely, definitely do it. So the first one here was three coats of sprinkles. Now this one, when Jess first saw, sh sent me the prototype of this, I was like, oh God, yes. This one is called Robin's Egg. And it's just beautiful. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I love blues with like glitters in. So this is um, a blues with um, some multi-chrome flakies in here. And there's also like a golden shimmer that runs throughout it. It's this really weird and interesting mix. The flakies mainly sit for me in this kind of red and orangey zone. So it kind of looks like blue with copper. And blue with copper is one of my favourite combinations. This did get completely opaque in two for me, just where the cream crelly base was more of a more pigmented colour than white it just build up a little bit quicker and be a bit more opaque so two coats of robin's egg okay and onto the rest now we then have a glitter topper and this one is called blossoms and i love that jess is bringing back glitter toppers in this collection glitter toppers were like the thing and i don't feel that many brands make them that, that it's not trend on the moment or not a lot of indie brands are doing it at the moment so just giving us this option has made me so nostalgic and so in love with this so it's a pretty similar color palette to what you're getting in sprinkles but obviously in a clear base there is maybe also a few little dust little tiny 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 bits of hollow in here as well or silver silver or hollow i cannot remember i want to say they're more silver and um i wore this over the satin one of the new sally hansen crayola polishes the yellow one can't remember what it was called and wearing this over some sort of pastel color i think is the perfect combination it just looks so spring so bright so happy so fun um, and i just really like like i say this over um, any pastels which is pretty on trend for spring it's going to look amazing so one coat of blossoms is what you're seeing over that sally hansen yellow and then have cottontail and cottontail is this kind of like rose color like rose wine kind of color where it's like a pinky color there's a little bit of like a rose gold aspect to it and it's got a ton of little flakies in here that give it this beautiful almost like metallic kind of finish to it like a silvery platinum -y, frosty to it um this one did another one that did take three coats to be opaque because it's got the flakes in it it just took a little bit longer to build up in the jelly-ish formula and when you remove this you need to make sure you remove this in like a clean swipe if you kind of scrub it backwards and forwards the flakies will go on your skin all around your nails they're quite easy to get off but it just is a little bit more of a messy removal than a regular cream polish just because it's a bit more of a foil finish so you're gonna see three coats of cottontail and the last one is called budding and i also love this one because it's a really weird green it's kind of like a minty color but it's not it's not super green it's not super blue but it's not turquoise i would go for like a mint and then it's got this like gold reflect to it and it's hollow it's not the brightest holographics that Jess has done in her collection where you have got this goldy shimmer to it I think that kind of balances out so it's like equal parts shimmer equal parts hollow um, and it did take three coats to build up to be completely opaque I just can't think of anything that is like this out there on the market I just think that this is really really unique so three coats of budding so that is the five piece collection for spring from 90 lacquer like I said at the start my two favorites are definitely sprinkles and robin eggs they are just 
just perfection what can I say and you can get these right now if you're in the US or you can get them very shortly from a Rainbow Connection if you're in the UK and you want to order direct from Rainbow Connection rather than from 90 um, an order I believe from 90 to Rainbow Connection is in transit at the moment so you should be able to get them on the website pretty soon if that's your preferred method of um, purchasing 90 as well as this collection you can still get last year's spring collection so if you didn't pick that up or you want to get some other ones definitely a good opportunity to pick up this one and last year's spring as well and she's still got smoothie bar or in stock and all of those type of ones so let me know down below what you think of this collection by 90 and which ones you'll be picking up and i will see you soon